Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for erectile dysfunction in Pakistan. So when one is unable to get and maintain an erection, that is really what erectile dysfunction is. Men of any age can experience the problem. Around the age of 40, about 40% 40 of men say they have some sort of sexual dysfunction. And overall, erectile dysfunction affects about one-third of men. So if you look at the table on this page, you'll see overall the 33%. In the 40s, is about 17%. Then it goes up to 35% in the 50s. In the 60s, it's close to 70%. And then after that, it's over 80% of men experience ED. So what are the causes? Well, when you look at what goes into creating an erection, there are neurologic, vascular, hormonal, and psychological components. So it's a complex relationship there. And there are various reasons that can either be singular or combined to cause the problem, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, kidney disease, uh, low T, thyroid abnormality, and then you see some psychological um, issues as well that may be a contributor, stress, anxiety, depression, so when a doctor is working up ED, uh, there'll be some blood and urine tests looking for things like um, diabetes or uh, thyroid issue, things like that. Uh, overnight erection test, men normally have a few erections during sleep. So if they still get those and, you know, they still have, and they have ED during the rest of the day, um, it may be a mental component. Injection test. Um, is intracavernosal with some medicine to help um, bring in more blood flow uh, and create an erection. So if that's working, then most likely it's a blood flow problem. An ultrasound can help look at blood flow issues too. Traditional treatments for ED, such as lifestyle changes, weight loss, quitting smoking, drinking less alcohol, uh, psychological counseling, short-term medications, Cialis or Viagra help to bring in more blood flow. That works for about 80% of individuals. Uh, once that no longer works, there's various injections like uh, Prostadil uh, and Muse uh, that can help. Um, next step might be some pumps like a vacuum device or maybe even a shockwave therapy. Those may work right away. They may take months to work, but they do work well. Um, and then as a last resort, surgery, such as a penile implant or a vascular reconstruction. All right, let's start delving into stem cell therapy. These treatments, first of all, very safe. We have done over 15,000 procedures in the U.S. in the last eight years, have never had a significant adverse event, have not had any rejection issues, and predominantly what our centers use are umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. All right. This is donated tissue from a mother after a scheduled C-section. There's no harm to the baby or mother. The tissue is processed at FDA-regulated ISO 7 CGMP compliant labs, very high quality assurance. We do not need to give immunosuppression. Um, it's immune uh, privileged and tolerated well. What are the benefits? Well, one of the great things that stem cells promote is new blood flow. Um, this comes from the endothelial cells, um, and it can also help repair and regenerate damaged tissues, inhibit scar formation. Um, there's really an entire orchestra of regenerative components in these biologics, including stem cells, cytokines, growth factors, exosomes, um, and more. All right, so let's look at some of the research. Uh, this was a review article, Current Perspectives on Stem Cell Therapy for ED. And the authors noted that the research demonstrates that with transplantation, stem cells exert a paracrine effect on penile tissue and can differentiate into smooth muscle, endothelium, and neurons too. Paracrine effect means cell-to-cell -cell communication, so it helps amp up repair with your own cells as well. And they noted that stem cells have proven both safe and effective in humans with ED. Here's a study looking at a review of human studies using stem cell therapy for ED. They looked at five full human studies, um, and they noted that the results were great um, with stem cell therapy, um, as well as being very, very safe. 
This is a study out of uh, European Association of Urology. Stem cells were shown to restore e erection capability in men with ED. Um, this was 21 patients who had erectile dysfunction after a radical prostatectomy. Now, when a person has a prostatectomy, um, there's a lot of nerves that are cut as well as blood vessels. So there are two components that come together to cause the ED problem. And traditionally, we've noted that the results have not been so fantastic um, with ED treatment with stem cell therapy. Uh, but that is changing um, as we learn more. And in this one, single injection worked amazingly well for the 12-month follow-up on those who were continent at inclusion. So that's the key. If a person has control of urination um, but also has ED, then this can work really, really well. Here's a study, it was a small one, more of a pilot study with four patients. Four diabetic patients who had erectile dysfunction. They had two consecutive uh, mesenchymal stem cell injections. And what they noted that in all the patients, they did really, really well with their erectile dysfunction. Um, and they followed them for two years. So it was pretty long-term um, results. I do want to mention that um, at our centers, we do not use embryonic stem cells or induced pluripotent stem cells. Neither of those are ready for prime time. They both have significant problems such as rejection and potential tumor formation. So if anyone mentions to you that you should get an embryonic stem cell therapy or an induced pluripotent stem cell therapy, run away. Those are not ready um, yet for clinical use. We use mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells from the umbilical cord. Those are very, very safe, very effective, um, and that's what we use. So in conclusion, stem cell therapy for ED has been shown to work really well in virtually every well-performed study out there, as well as in our experience. We sh have shown that 90% of ED patients respond exceptionally well if the issue is vascular related. Now, if it's what we showed you that study on post-prostate removal, it still works, but it's more like 70% instead of 90%. So let me mention our stem cell therapy program in Pakistan. We combined all the essentials for a first-rate program. This includes expert stem cell doctors, dedicated patient concierge representatives. The biologics are extremely safe, very high cell counts, very pure, potent, and it really is the most cost-effective program in the world. Um, at our center in Pakistan, we do use cultured biologics um, that is allowed. We obtain those from an accredited U.S. lab, has a pristine safety record with quality assurance that actually exceeds what the FDA requires. We keep the cells to the fifth generation or less, which means they're very pure, potent, viable, um, and we don't use any preservative. So when we thaw out the uh, um, biologic, we have over 95% viability. Um, and depending on what issues you're dealing with, if it's just ED, we have either a 10 or a 30 million cell option. Or if you wanted to undergo anti-aging or other things, we have higher cell counts available. Our center is only 20 minutes from the airport. We do provide ground transportation from the airport to the clinic and back, or if you're staying overnight to the hotel as well. I wanted to introduce our medical director, Dr. Mohsen Navid. Um, he's a longtime healthcare practitioner in Pakistan, very, very highly respected, um, lots of titles. Um, he is board certified by the American Board of Regenerative Medicine. Um, in addition to being a great practitioner of medicine, he's also on um, the Human Organ Transplant Authority in Pakistan and the Drug Regulatory Authority um, as well. To get the process started with us is very simple. Um, you can call us at plus one, the U.S. prefix, 888-988-0515. Um, Visit us online at r3stemcell.com slash Pakistan. And please email us, info at r3stemcell.com. Once you email or call us, we'll get you set up for a phone consultation. If you live in the area, you can also come in to see Dr. Naveed. Be happy to um, work with you um, and get your treatment going. Thank you so much for watching.